for more, let's uh, cross by phone to our correspondent, Fernand Van Tetz. Fernand, tell us about this verdict. Well, they have been accused of four counts of crimes against humanity and one count of uh, war crimes for murder, uh, and also things of deportation, um, persecution, and basically the court here outlined a reign of terror that would take place whenever um, forces aided by these paramilitary groups would take over territory, both in Croatia and in Bosnia. Um, and the court did say that they outlined this criminal enterprise, as they call it, that there was this systematic campaign of murder and persecution and forcible displacement targeting non-Serbs in Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina during this period between 1991 and 1995. And they said that these men definitely were aware of it, but they did not prove beyond reasonable doubt that they participated in this enterprise. However, they were found guilty of aiding and abetting um, murder, deportation, forcible transfer, and persecution committed in a particular village in Bosnia and Herzegovina of the Sanski Sham. Uh, and for that, they've been handed this 12-year sentence. Now, this court, is, court case has dragged on. It's a complete retrial of the case that started back in 2003, um, and it restarted in 2015. So now the end seems inside. However, Stanisic's lawyer has already said he will appeal. So this the final court case of the International Criminal, uh, Criminal Tribunal for former Yugoslavia being heard at a mechanism that was especially created to deal with cases even after that tribunal has closed, we'll still not see the end. They have appealed, so we'll have to wait to see what happens next. Fernand Van Tetz, with that update for us.